these rocky shores are basically untouched by people and it gives us a wonderful example of a really healthy rocky shore ecosystem that's just brimming with life. <gasps> My goodness, this is very, very lucky. We don't often get these guys in a rocky shore very easily. What we're looking at here is a nudibranch. This is a snail, so it's related to the octopus, the mussels and the limpets, but it has lost its shell. It doesn't have a shell anymore. It's got a head and a tail and then it's got its gills for breathing. Now you'll see that it's a really beautiful, beautiful color and that sort of coloration is telling the predators, stay away from me. I'm dangerous, I'm poisonous. The range of colors and diversity down here is incredible. If we just look at this flat worm here, it's a very, very primitive, very simple worm, just with a head end, and then the body tissues are all diffuse through the rest of the body. It'll eat at the one end, and the food just moves through a very simple, simple system to move food through the body. If we look from that simple, simple body right down to this, this is a feather star. The feather star we're lucky to see here because normally they're commonly found in the deeper water. The feather star is related to the sea urchins and the cucumber and the starfish and the feather star has got these feathery tentacles that it uses in order to get its food. This is a colony of a whole whole range of different worms all living together. They build skeletons for themselves, little tubes for themselves and then they live inside those tubes. They open up and they extend their feathery ciri out to capture their food and then when they're threatened they'll simply close the trap door over them and then they'll be quite safe. But what's really interesting is in this coral worm we find a range of other animals. Here's something quite interesting too. This looks like a plant, a blue plant. In actual fact it's called a blue lollipop. That is a type of colonial ascidian, which is a colonial sea squirt. A whole lot of sea squirts living together. Each of them has two siphons, one for bringing water in and one for sending water out, and they're filter feeders. So these blue lollipops are related to the red bait that fishermen often use for bait and that some people actually think is quite a tasty morsel.